What's up guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to The Drop. This is a weekly series that comes on my channel every Monday where I go through the new video game releases of the week, at least the ones I think that you should pay attention to. And this week we've got a remaster, some other stuff that's coming out. It's a pretty good week in game releases, especially if you're a Zombies fan. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. First off, we've got a game that originally was released in 1998 by LucasArts by the name of Grim Fandango, and we are getting Grim Fandango remastered for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And uh, this is a pretty interesting title. You play as Manny, who sells travel amenities to the souls, venturing from the world of the living into the world of the dead, which is a pretty cool concept. And I'm actually surprised that I hadn't heard much about this game until it was remastered almost 16 years later. So in this remaster, if you're a fan of the original Grim Fandango, you've got a better resolution, better graphics, all of that standard jazz we normally see with the remastering on top of a remastered soundtrack. So for any of you that are audiophiles out there and sound plays a big role in your gaming experience, you might want to check out Grim Fandango Remastered that is hitting the PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, and PC this Tuesday. Next up, Dying Light is promising to bring a fresh twist on the standard Zombies experience, and it's coming to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC from Techland Games, and if you want to know a lot more about Dying Light, I would suggest taking a look at the video that I made last week where I go into detail about what I think about Dying Light and why it is a step above all of the other zombie entries that we are getting into the gaming industry this year, but basically what Dying Light does well is that it takes notes from Mirror's Edge, Far Cry, Elder Scrolls, and Don't Starve and combines that with the zombie experience that people originally got from the Left 4 Dead series, and you get Dying Light, which does promise to bring some innovation into a genre that is being flooded with new games, and ultimately the quality is going down. So we'll see if Dying Light can make that trend change, and it might even be one of the best games of 2015. Who knows? Only time will tell. Next up, if you're playing Borderlands the pre-sequel on the last generation consoles, you should definitely tune into this because the third piece of DLC for the game is coming out this Tuesday in the form of Lady Hammerlock, who is actually Aurelia Hammerlock, Sir Hammerlock's older sister, and she is the official heir to the Hammerlock fortune, so she has a mansion, and she actually hunts the rare and exotic animals of Pandora that Sir Hammerlock is trying to observe and take notes on, which is a pretty funny form of sibling rivalry in a video game, if I had to say so myself. But she does post some pretty awesome attributes to your game style. So there are three skill trees you can upgrade whenever you're playing as Lady Hammerlock, and the first one is called the Huntress, which grants you a points bonus if you're able to land your sniper shots consecutively on your enemies. You also have the Cold Money bonus, where it adds a cryo damage to all of your different weapons, and then you've got Contractual Aristocracy, which will actually, when you're playing with another player in co-op, allow you to gain points based off of their kills, because, and ultimately, and at the end, they become your slave. If this sounds like something you're interested in for your pre-sequel experience, then you can check this out for free if you have the Borderlands Season Pass or $9.99 if you don't. But if you are interested, the Handsome Collection was announced last week. I made a video on it that you can check out there. And the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2 are both coming to new generation consoles, both of them including all of the DLC that was ever released and all of the DLC for the pre-sequel that will ever be released. So if you're playing on a last generation console and you haven't bought any DLC and you're planning on upgrading to a new generation console soon, you might just want to hold out for the Handsome Collection. Finally, we've got the Metroid Prime Trilogy making its way to the Nintendo eShop this Thursday on the Wii U, and this game was originally released in 2009 and saw a very short production cycle, which I guess is why it's being released on the Nintendo eShop now, but you can play Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, and Metroid Prime 3 Corruption all on your Wii U touchpad, which I guess is pretty cool, especially if you're a fan of Samus' adventures, but one thing I must say is that the critics did praise this game for having an amazing control scheme steps above the previous version of it that came out in the past so if you're interested in replaying some of those famous metroid games now is your chance to do so on the newest version of the wii so there you guys have it those are your video game releases for this week if you enjoyed this video drop it a like down below and comment what games you'll be picking up this week if anything are you interested in that borderlands dlc how do you feel about the handsome collection all of that good stuff you can leave it in the comments below and if you are new to the channel please head over to my main page and check out some of those other videos i do upload videos on monday wednesday friday and saturday so if you enjoy my personality if you enjoy the information then please i would recommend subscribing so you don't have to search my channel the next time a video is uploaded. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.